Good afternoon everyone. It is still the 1st of October. Um, I know it feels like maybe a week has passed. <laughs> what an incredible day. It's, um, it's almost 4pm, about five minutes to, according to my clock. Uh, what can I say? Uh, you know what I'm going to say, unless of course, perhaps, perhaps this is the only one you've made today, but this is number nine. This is our ninth movement snack of the day uh, here celebrating uh, three things well a minimum of three things we're celebrating the fact that it's international day of the older person we're celebrating movement and we're celebrating the connections and, and the joy of all that stuff that everyone on this page has created in these last six months so uh, it's really such an incredible day and it sounds like a cliche but it's only incredible because you lot choose to turn up here on our screens three times a day and today nine times a day uh three 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 times a daily was uh, was my original um line i haven't got one for nine times a daily uh hello carol kent thank you for joining all the snacks today sheila and carol elliot thank you for your sibling rivalry that has just uh, added to the uh just added to the whole thing, all of your comments, everything you've had to say, our, our regular movement snackers, and your just support, your support and your comments is just, just marvellous. Um, this morning I uh, did a shout out, I'm going to do it again because I don't know if they've, they've been in with the whole day or they've been in and out, but hello to uh, Christine Hodgson who really reached out and, and got lots of organisations in our locality involved. So the Harden Cullingworth and Denholm congregation, hello to you lot, I hope some of you are out there. Uh, the Weardale Community Hospital and the Cross Hill Nursing Home in Stanhope. Big hello to you and I hope you've enjoyed the day and I hope, and I hope you feel you've got the buzz. Have you got the movement, uh, a cumulative minute movement bug? Have you got it? Have you got it? I hope so. Uh, we're almost there, Carol. Yes. Sibling rivalry. You? Never. Uh, hello, Jeannie. Jeannie's back again. Wales is in. I think we've got uh, all the flags in today. I think we've got Canada in as well. We've got Germany in somewhere. I think Red Rita's in there. Hello, Maddie. Uh, thank, uh, thank you, Bex, Cows and Dave for giving us such an awesome day. How, how, how incredible that you lot think moving more frequently is awesome just it's just a uh, phenomenal wait 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 something's coming up Kels Kels yes it's the baton everyone it's the last time of the baton handover today uh sound handovers uh firm grips from the movement snacking team today from Dave and from Kels thank you Dave for persevering with your with the frog in your throat you you were my hero today um Dave, you were indeed. Number nine, Sandra, yes. Hello, Margaret Wood again. Bex and Marathon Snacks, stalwarts, stalwarts, here for the finale. You know, life isn't a sprint, is it? No, it's a marathon. And we're all still here. Uh, hello, Wendy from Shrewsbury. We love Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury's been here since the day one. First place for all of us, indeed. <laughs> we're all winners. We're all winners here. Hello, Adil. Cambridge has arrived. I think I saw my sister um, disappear up the screen. All right, Sister T, great to see you. Um, what have I got for you for the finale? It's really quite difficult to wrap it all up into one thing. I went for the something old, something borrowed, something blue theme. None of that rhymes, but I, I just used something from that. So we've got something, we've got the circulation boost and the active sit and stand, that always comes. Hello Vivian from Bolton. And then I've got something to mobilise, something to strength, something to balance, something to coordinate calm and flow. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to mix it all up because all movement is movement. How we do it is, uh, is, is what matters. So it's, it's not only what we do, it's the way that we do it. And depending how we do stuff, Depends how we can improve different elements of, of movement and, uh, and our physicality. So we can choose to improve mobility or strength or balance or coordination or flexibility, all those things. So I want to give you a good old pick and mix of that for the last one. 
Uh, oh, bless you, Sue. He's telling Dave to have lemon and honey. Uh, Sheila Cornax in uh, from Scotland, and way back in lockdown, you were in you were in Palma, weren't you? In Spain during all that time. Bristol's back. Hello, Francis. Thank you for all of your support. Hello, all collective. What a busy day we have all had. Ross Rockets in. Hello, Diana. That's what gets results, chaos. Yes, I think we're going to do it. Are you ready? Final movement stack of the day. Only of the day, um, I do need to say, of course, once we've all come down from the celebrations, and our, we had our six month birthday just uh, the other week, so it's a roller coaster of emotion. We're back tomorrow, back on our regular three times a day, 8 a.m., noon, and 4 p.m. If you're new and you've enjoyed today and you feel you can benefit from additional movement minutes, we're back here every, every day, three times a day, seven days a week at eight o'clock, noon and four. Come on then, are we going? I'm building up the park. Jane, you look very cheery, Vic. I've had a super day, lots of movement. Can't believe how quickly the day has gone. I know, I put the alarm on every hour and my energizing aromatherapy oil's burning. It's been a great day. Many thanks to you, Cal, Dave and everyone. Jane, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, come on, ready, ready? <sighs> three, two, one. Good afternoon, my name's Bex Townley. Uh, hello from all of us and thank you from all of us from uh, Later Life Training. Here's your last bout for today. Unless you want to do some extra crowbarring, of course. Sit or stand, you choose. Uh, make sure you've got some external support close to hand. Have a look at the movement first if you'd like before you join in. Stop when you want. Take as much or as little as you want. It's here for the taking. And it's lovely to see you as well, Sheila. Come on, come on. It's a virtual party. Come on, let's do it. All right, just get my script so I don't forget what I'm doing. Come along then, come on everyone, let's do it. External support close to hand, here's the vitals. So whatever time, if you're gonna take a few minutes to sit taller in a chair or stand taller, give yourself the best possible chance for success. Floors are even, space is clear, external support to the left and to the right or in the front so you've got loads and loads of confidence building stuff around you. Whether you're in sit or stand, lengthen, just take a moment to stand tall here, use that external support and if you're happy and confident in stand, get going with your steady circuit boost. I'm going to take a few more minutes to go through the seated prompts, here we go. So if you've been here for a while, and you're joining in with the active sit, it looks like this. Sit taller, bring yourself a little bit more upright. Feel the weight even across your buttocks. We like buttocks in a movement snack. Lengthen, so be active in the middle, strong, shoulders back and down, and you can start the arm action from here. So we're just bringing in, we're looking to improve the shoulder mobility here. I've got a bend at the arm, that enables us to get a little bit more range of motion through the back there. This can be small and steady and rhythmical. If you would like to progress or work towards more standing activities, or if you want to mobilise your hips a bit more, have a go at the hip walk, lift and shift, lift and shift, lift and shift. Let me give you some other options on the arm march. We've, got, we've done the singles and the doubles today. What about, if you would like, you can take uh, the hands together and take a, a more of a support, like kind of like a rowing action, and that brings in a little bit more trunk turn as we go. The ranges of motion is what we're after here, so keep it steady and fluid and smooth. If you would like to bring in some lower limb action here, so ankles, feet and toes are involved. This is how we start to improve walking and standing activities by mobilising the feet. Can you pick them off? Can you pick them off? Take up some extra support if you'd like, or you might want to go for some toes, and then some heels, and then some arms, and then some rowing, and then you might want to bring it all together. So ultimately, whether you are in sit, or whether you are in stand, this two minutes, this circulation boost, so beneficial, not only to our mobility and our moving parts, but also to our circulatory system, um, helps with our blood pressure as well, really keeps everything boosted, increases the blood flow, and hopefully energizes, revitalizes, so that at the end of that two minutes or so, 
those deeper breaths feel good. That's what we're after, not breathless or out of breath. And you can add those uh, little circuit boosts in any time of the day. If you've been sat too long, if you feel you've been too long in one position, just sit or stand, crowbar in, little bit of activity, rhythmical, steady, your pace stuff. All right, are we ready? So here's the something to mobilize. And on the subject of ankles, feet and toes, we're gonna go and do some mobility around that very place. I'm gonna show you the seated option first. If you are in stand, have control, 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 sit. There's two options here in sit. From back in the chair, just lift the foot slightly and take the mobility here. It's a definite push and pull. We're not just after a wiggle or a waft. Nah, nah, nah. Come on. Here we go. Forwards and back. As you can see, this is how the ankle works for, for standing, for walking activities. Don't forget to do both sides and you may feel that you have better movement on one side than the other this is quite usual we all have uh, kind of aches and pains and things going on and this is how we can work to improve over time if you'd like you might want to try this one hit walk forward place the heel and then the toe if you feel a bit squashed here in the hips go for the one I showed you before. This one here, if you are happy to stand and you're confident, heels back and down, we've been saying this all day, push up to stand, get your balance, take up support. You could do that movement in a standing position, but do have support possibly to the front of you here and you can get that ankle moving here. Lots of other benefits to this standing option, as you can see here, not only am I mobilising the ankle, getting lots of extra stability here through the hip. All of these moving parts that are moving around us, move around a strong supported posture. So this is why we keep talking about standing taller, chest open, health of standing positions, balance, reach, uh, grab and grasp. All right, we're ready for the next one. We're gonna stay, uh, this is something to strengthen. Something to strengthen. Um, if you are in stand, feel for the chair on the backs of your legs. Let's go for a slow, 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 slow. More activity here in the thighs and release. We're gonna stick on, we're gonna stay with the, the lower limb strength or if the lower limb of legs aren't on your radar, Remember the movement you did with Kelsey early today. So palms up, elbows in, and then this extra squeeze here in the back of the shoulder blade. So we're looking to start towards activating more muscles in the back for all of our pulling activities. So if you prefer to stay on the, the upper body ones, go for that. Here's a recap on something to strengthen. Legs, legs, legs. Heels back and down. Strong centre lifting up here and just start with the jockey lift. We call it a jockey lift for obvious reasons. No horses were involved in this movement snack. And we're just trying to push through the thighs here. You'll feel those activate. If you're happy, if you want to go for the full on stand, same thing. We just drive up a little bit more. Pedal at the top, get your balance, feel for the chair. Can you go for that control sit, kind of hold on, hold on, no plonking, no plonking, and release. That's something to strengthen, what we are, we're on something to balance. By that I mean something to start to think about improving balance. To improve balance, we do need to challenge it a little bit. I'm going to show you the seated options first for you. So uh, we can't really improve standing balance unless we stand up, but we can certainly improve seated balance from here. So feet are flat and lifted, keep the buttocks anchored into the chair, um, and we're gonna go for our functional reach here. So we're, the balance challenge here in a sit position is to take a reach and come back again. And there's lots of activity going on in your buttocks for this. So this is something that can improve your uh, stability in the centre here, helps with functional reaching and grabbing, you can go through a few a range of different directions there and recover each time if you would like. If you are confident you'd like to give the standing stuff a go, heels back and down, push up to stand, 
little bit of a foot pedal as always this helps with any blood pressure changes and get yourself in a position where you have some reliable support either to the side or to the front of you i'm going to turn this way so you can see what's happening starting with my feet hip width the first bit is just to stand tall stand tall feel strong feel steady Feel that you have the weight even, and then if you feel you can take one hand away and just have fingertips on that support. If you're confident there, maybe you want to add a bit onto that. So I'm going to suggest just take a foot forward, and then how do you feel there? Keep that uh, support going. If you feel okay there, stand up a little bit taller, stay there a little bit longer, and just feel how, how strong you are in that position. At any time, of course, we can move the feet to adjust, readjust our positions. This is, uh, this is normal in daily life, our feet are constantly changing position. Now, as you can see over time, I'm not gonna progress that to its full extent today, but the closer my feet come together, the greater the balance challenge. So it's important that we only go for those challenges when we feel ready. So I'm going to invite you to come down to a sit, 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 slow, slow. Hit walk forward and just rehearse those foot positions in sit. So my feet are side by side or my feet are here or I can take one foot slightly in front of the other, sit tall and even in seated you may feel that you're not as stable as you were when your feet are wide. If you know that you're confident and you're good to go for that balance and challenge, you know, if you're a seasoned movement snacker, we can indeed go for that foot in front and see how that feels. Make the right decision for you. So can you see how these things, the, the way we move, challenges different stuff? All right, we're on the last one. No, we're not. We're going to do a stretch. Something to stretch. We've done mobilise, we've done strength, we've done balance. Now we're going to do something to stretch. Sit tall, sit tall or stand tall. Take up support if you're in standing. One hand on the side of the chair if you're in sit. Here we go. So we're going to bring the fingertips towards the shoulder, walk the fingertips over, support the arm if you'd like. And if you feel confident and comfortable, go for a reach just for a brief moment. Just for a brief moment. I'll come a bit closer so you can see. So fold the arm at the elbow, ease it up, ease it up, ease it up. And then when it, you hit your, your kind of natural sticking point, go for an extra reach here and you'll feel the big stretch down the side of the body. Or you might prefer to bring the hands here and then go for a lift down a reach and we get really really great extension all the all the muscles in the back are working and we're getting all that lift and all that open chest position here these are the activities we need to do our hair for washing for dressing <sighs> shirt off we call this one all right we're ready i'm over egging it coming in for the finale and we're going to do some coordination some calming movements, calm and flow. We generally do these on the 4 p.m. in every movement snack. Have a sit down for this one if you have any uh, concerns with your balance because it may challenge your balance and if it's new to you, I want you to get it right. So have a, uh, have a sit down, have a lower with control. If you're confident in stand, do so. Lift and open. Let's just start to alternate a floaty arm. It's technically called a floaty arm. Can you see it's really fluid and flowing and you're bringing your wrists and your fingers in and if you feel ready bring in the both. So we're maintaining this active sit position. I'm putting on my calming voice. Can you hear? Um, you might want to start to see if you can take a, an alternate arm flow. And if you'd like to try something a little bit more challenging with regards to coordination, let's try, let's try, up tall, active in the middle. We can start with a figure of eight, both hands going in the same direction, as if your hands are, are sweeping through water. And if you've mastered that, what about two hands 
doing two different figure of eights as a mirror image. How does that feel? So in daily life, we do lots of things at the same time. We kind of multitask. And that's a real challenge for our moving parts and for our brains, of course. So in these movement snacks, we like to tackle that as well. So we cover coordination as well as strength and balance and mobility. And that, folks, brings us to the end of this incredible journey just for today. It all carries on tomorrow, three times a day. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do, it's the usual thank yous for, to Dawn Scouting, who's behind this screen and uh, pretty much on, uh, on my shoulder and got my back pretty much the whole of my working life. Also Bob LaVenture. Oh, Kaus and Dave, critical dream team here. So thank you to everyone for taking part. And uh, no, don't, don't clap, don't clap, don't throw flowers, don't throw, don't throw money. Thank you, everyone. It's been a complete joy. Mwah. I don't like to over egg it. I, you know, I don't, I don't like to, I don't like to go over the top or anything like that. Thank you, everyone. All right, I'm gone. I'm out here. We'll see you, see you tomorrow, eight o'clock. Bye for now.